Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Colleen Campbell, filling in for meteorologist Chandler Jordan, who will be back on Wednesday. Let's check out these temperatures because we're warming up pretty quickly across the Piney Woods here, really feeling nice and looking nice, too. This is looking live on Broadway northbound, so going towards uh, the center of the city there. And temperatures are currently in the upper 60s, lower 70s across the Piney Woods. We'll take it, right? And we're even going to get warmer from there. So a nice little treat on this November day here. Clouds and radar are a little bit closer. We have that air coming in from the south generally and nice dry conditions. Let's expand the picture. Over the Tennessee Valley, we have an area of surface high pressure that has been doing its job in keeping us nice and dry. Normally, surface high pressure means sinking air, kind of pushes the rain away. And we're seeing that it's reflected here in not only Texas, but several states. You can actually see the winds there across uh, the Tennessee Valley. So yes, that's keeping us nice and dry. And what it's also doing is allowing our winds to now come more so from the south before they were coming from uh, light and variable yesterday, but generally from the east today from the south. So that's allowing our temperatures to rise up a little bit. Also, it does have a little bit of a balmy feel in the forecast for the next two days, and that's because dew points are also a little bit higher. We have that moisture in the air, not really going to be uncomfortable for us, but we have been dealing with mornings where that fog has been present. So for today, mid 70s for the daytime high. Again, winds coming out from the south around 5 to 10 miles per hour, nice gentle breeze. And as we go into tonight's overnight, we will have that increasing cloud cover from the west. Overnight temperatures in the lower 50s. Let's look at future skycasts here. I did skip over most of the day for uh, for today going into tonight, I should say, because this afternoon's dry. We don't have to worry about any rain. And in fact, it's just the cloud cover that we will see later on tonight around 11 o'clock or so. That will carry over into early tomorrow morning. Some fog also possible. Then as we move into tomorrow afternoon, we do have some patchy areas of sunshine that will try to peek through those clouds once temperatures warm up. Since the temperatures are warming up, the cloud cover won't be as thick, but then it returns as we move into Wednesday. So Tuesday night into Wednesday, a couple prefrontal showers possible. And then as we go into late Wednesday night, this is midnight, so now rolling into Thursday, we have a system that will be on the way. That could bring some rain to the start of our Veterans Day. However, if you have any celebrations or ceremonies planned for Veterans Day, the second half afternoon or so should be okay. So it's mainly Wednesday night that we have that 60-70% rain chance. This system moves through within a couple of hours. And then by Thursday morning, yes, it will be off to a wet start, and those clouds could hang around but for the second half of the day you should be good so if you want uh, hold off on any celebrations if you can until later on in the afternoon I know a couple of state parks are doing things for veterans so I'm sure there will be a lot of things going on after that we do have temperatures cooling down for this weekend but you see sunshine makes a return once again it's brought to you by Baylor Scott and White